rooms. Where's my staff? Mm, door. Beautiful. Actually, this is where I need the staff room door the most. This is going to be just a regular door. Alright, looks like the prison is nearly closed off in its entirety. Once these two guys can join, then uh, we'll be sitting pretty. At least for now. They can escape through the open doors here. Beautiful. Uh, is my yard... Yes, the yard is enclosed. Which means people can go out and do whatever they want now. Oh, they're pissed off. <laughs> I've, I've locked them away. Now they can go eat. I don't know if... Oh, looks like our... There we go. We are actually have food ready for them. So they should be very, very happy about that. That we have decided graciously to actually feed them. Wait, oh my god, one of my guards already got beaten up by a prisoner. Oh, well that's perfect. Um, so, do you see all these rooms here? What they are going to be is my solitary confinement area. And fortunately with solitary confinement, I can make it as inhuman as I want to. And allow them only to uh, be in a one tiny square room for however long I want them to be there. Unfortunately, my prisoners are already unhappy. All right. So my prisoners are already pissed off. So that's good. It's great. But it looks like, at least for now, we've got this thing enclosed. Wow, they're already starting riots and destroying stuff. Oh, I guess we're going to have to hire a couple more guards. Um, utilities we're going to need to make sure we have... Uh, power to these new areas. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, <laughs> there's this one guy, he's just so pissed off that he's just destroying everything in here for no reason. So now my guard's gonna go beat the crap out of him. Go beat the crap out of Sean Simpson. So now he's subdued him, and he's taking him to solitary confinement. <laughs> so, let's uh, get some certain things started. Let's get our... What? Oh yeah, I need to hire another chef. Great. So we've got that one done. Now we've got to build up our administrative centers. So, we need some offices in order to hire uh, a warden to actually look after a prison. I can make that. That is big enough for a office, right? Let me check. I always seem to forget where. There it is.
I also need to put uh, a bunch of stuff in the office to make it usable, including a desk and a chair and a filing cabinet. Once they're done that, these uh, these office spaces will be usable. And we can start doing some research and expanding what is available to us in our prison. So now we can hire uh, a warden who then we can go to bureaucracy and start researching uh, some helpful uh, security things or some helpful uh, researches. So now this is our big fancy warden. He is the leader of uh, our prison. We also need a staff room so our staff do not get tired. drink machine and bookshelf is also nice to have for them. You get a wide sofa because I love them so much. So <laughs> he's just resting in the staff room even though there's nothing in there. So, once we get to some more uh, researches underway, we can definitely start organizing our prison a little bit better than it's organized currently. But we've got to start, and that's what matters. Did I forget to put a filing cabinet? What is wrong with my workmen? It looks like they're lost and confused or something. Oh, no. They disconnected. They're all like standing in the doorways. They're just completely have no idea what's going on. Okay. What did I research? Oh, mental health. Well, that's good. We should hire a psychologist. <laughs> but I don't think we need anything built right now, which is good. Well, actually, we could... Uh stand for this because until we can really have enough resources to crack down on my prisoners I am gonna have to subdue them somehow and for now that the only way I'm going to be able to do that is through actual uh, um, what's what I'm looking for? you know what I mean make them somewhat happy and pleasurable and all that kind of good stuff but uh Looks like everybody's desperately confused, though. And they're not doing anything that I've asked them to do. Okay. See, so yeah, I remember those things I asked you to do. Could you please do them? Um, 
okay. Well, we need an accountant now. Oh, jeez. I guess I'll have to wait an hour until my new uh, prisoners arrive. So you're paid based off of how many prisoners you have in your prison. But there are other ways to make money as well, which we will eventually go into. But it seems that many of my prisoners are extremely confused. gone into them. Or not my prisoners, my staff. See, there's this door thing I need you to help me build. Okay. Okay. Apparently not. So they're taking showers. Unfortunately, I can't see what's going on. Yet. One of my prisoners is, is injured, and he's slowly bleeding to death inside of there. Okay, well one of my staff, please do something. Please. I'm going to ask you to dismantle the tree. One of you will dismantle the tree. So that is good to know. This guy looks like he might actually be doing... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, wait a second. These guys are doing something. That one guy is bringing that staff door. So that's good. So now what you guys can do is you guys can... Uh build that uh, area that I asked you guys to build. So we need an infirmary so we can heal some of our sick. Which uh, I can't remember. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at these guys figuring it out. Oh, I am so proud of you. I don't know what this room is going to be yet. I'm sure I'll think of something. We'll have three for now, and I think there is a grant. I can get money from that. There it is, health and well being. Oh god. Well, we apparently have a uh riot going on here. Oh my god, we literally have a riot going on. So one of the things we can do we'll set up lockdown and we can call in uh, that looks like it's over as fast as it started. My guards can take care of this. Wow. Well, we ended up massacring the overall majority of our prisoners. And it looks like we're going to need more uh, solitary confinement doors. And also, we're going to need more fucking guards. Oh, and that accountant. So we're making $8 a day. That's not bad. 
But anyway, we need to really uh, start researching one thing and one thing fast. And that is prison labor. And then we can really start cranking out uh, the dollars. Well, all these food trays are damaged, so we should just dump them. Oh, I haven't. I don't have a visitor's room. I don't know if these guys really deserve a visitor's room, but I guess it'll help uh, keep them cowed until I have enough money to hire a ridiculous amount of guards. That is a morgue. That is not what I wanted at all. Doesn't look like anybody died though, which is good. Hey, right, we can un lock them now. There's uh my tables. Visitors tables, visitors tables, where are you? No, that's the medical bed. I always seem to like misplace stuff in here. Why am I having such trouble finding this thing? There it is. I was clicking on it. That was a fail. <laughs> okay. So doctors are getting our guards healed up. And our... The rest of our... Men. Uh, or then they're going to start healing the prisoners that were rioting. So I don't need as many workmen. So we can hire or we can fire some of them. We can bring ourselves to eight. That brings us up to four hundred dollars a day, which is good. So one interesting thing is like we can click on any of the prisoners at any time and see all about what happened. This guy's name is How Infernal Motley. He burned down several tenements. Uh, houses and fellow other structures before finally getting caught. He's also been arrested for assault and the possession of cannabis. He is serving 22 years for arson right now. <laughs> Alright, well when our new prisoners come in we can Think about, oh, I need uh, some storage space. Let's put right here. Okay, so we also need security. Where's my warden, or foreman, I mean. And you can do prison labor, which we are going to desperately need. We are also going to need another office. But yeah, my vision of a truly cruel prison can't come to life until I have enough resources to establish firm control and enough technologies as well, which is also important. they're collecting all the wood we still have a ton of men that are prisoners that are injured and waiting for uh, solitary this guy's just bleeding all over the place and he's gonna return to his cell every day and just see his blood everywhere because well you decided to start a riot and our, pri our guards are too busy to uh, actually 
Help you out. And hire an extra guard. I don't know why they're all hanging out in the holding cell. But yeah. Oh, do we get, uh... We have to work on deployment. But in the meantime, we can start two of our new buildings. Or rooms, I mean. Such room is a laundry room. And the other such room. Oh, I also need the common room for our prisoners. Right here. And we need the workshop. So with our money. for now. Alright, so we'll see what uh, some of these things do as time goes on. Oh crap, I need more money. Alright, what can I extort money from? go. So there's some money. And with this, we can build the uh, couple TVs. And set up them, set up a nice little common room for them. And over here, we can have our phone booths so they can phone home. There we go. We actually might need uh, an extra capacitor to ensure that we don't run out of power. Because if we run out of power, well, it's not like the end of the world, but it's just a big pain in the ass. Apparently a lot of my, there we go, we can set up a, now here's an important aspect to this game, is now we have the ability to set up what our guys are doing and when they're doing it. So, let them sleep for, sleep until 6, and they eat, and they shower, and then they have free time, they have yard time. They eat. Actually. And they're gonna work from five to eight. Then eat before they go to sleep. There they go. <laughs> okay, now we have to uh stop our intake of prisoners because we've got too many. Oh, we also need to hire... Oh, fuck, I forgot about our...
So I guess a lot of our guards are really just throwing uh, some of our guys to the wolves and just kind of letting them, you know, bleed to death in their prison cells. That's just, well, I don't know why. No, they probably deserve it. Oh, great. Now there are guys stabbing themselves, stabbing each other in the mess hall. And we can't do anything about it until we've got uh, a chief of police. And then we can... Uh... Oh, shit. But we've got way more than enough guards to make sure, you know, shit doesn't hit the fan. Pipes didn't have enough. Oh no, my oh my god, one of our guards is dead. Oh what a disaster. Alright, we need a morgue. Oh, I don't have enough money. Well, that's no good. Alright, Grants. What can you do for me? Well, we've got some money, once again, and hopefully we can fulfill our grants as time goes on. But, uh, 